How do you achieve organizational effectiveness in your project? Wow, that's a big word for what you try to do on a project. If you think about the word organizational effectiveness, it's basically how to align an organization in such a way that you be effective at the end of the day. So to get the result what you really achieve, what you really want to have. That's not easy. So the question how to do it is basically where many people are busy with for a long, long time. So what we are very good in is how to line up our systems, our structures, our processes. That's what we really are doing for the last 100 years. We know how it works. But if you bring that together with the people element, which basically is how people are interacting with each other and how they want to do things or not want to do things, that's where the big gain actually is. So what you can actually figure out is if you want to bring organizational effectiveness in your team, you really have to think hard on how to engage with the people on the project. So how to do that is basically to start to listen to those people working for you. If you really try to command it, really command and control top down what they have to do, there's a high chance that they walk away from us and basically say, thank you very much, but that's not my piece of cake. So what you need to do is start to understand what drives them and what makes them effective and how they can actually do their job in a better way. So we don't have to tell them what the goal is and then starting to supervise their methods. What we need to do is bring them a goal, let them sort out how to get there and understand how we can take away the barriers and enable the things what they have to do in an effective as possible way. And they will figure it out because they are very smart. So if we could figure that trick out, we are part on, you know, we are some way on that step on how to create an organizational effectiveness environment where people understand that they are part of a bigger game and actually try to achieve what they do on the project. The how question is the real, that's the magic trick, you know, on understanding where, where it really comes from. And the first thing what we need to do is to understand what people drives and how they actually be, um, can be driven in the team spirit to come to their targets. From your experience, how could one organize for an overall integrated project team? Is it possible? It is possible, but I've seen examples where it totally failed. I've seen examples where people try to bring people together in one team, coming from different backgrounds, different cultures, different environments, and try to operate in one integrated team. The trouble with that is that if you don't respect each other in the role what you have on the project, you get yourself in trouble because people will actually start to behave in a different way. Now, integration of a project team starts with understanding each other's culture. So you need to have people who can actually be flexible, of, uh, flexible enough and agile enough to understand there are different ways to do it, not necessarily tapped into the way they actually are, you know, do it all the time. And actually every project once over and over again, approaching the same problems on the same way. Different companies are dealing with different things and if you want to bring it together in one integrated team You need those people which are flexible enough to actually do that and understand that and that's where it starts If you select the wrong people and try to put them in an integrated team you get yourself in trouble So It's about people. That's it is about people at the end of the day. It's always about people